I, I'm a new person. I mean, I cannot tell you, I never would have thought two years ago that I would be back at work, back at work, working out every day on my lunch hour, doing the things that I used to do. My life is what it used to be because of the ladies here at this clinic. Jackson County Chamber President Carla Todd is not only an active member in our community, but also in the gym. That was until unexplained lower back pain began to slow her down. I really couldn't understand where that pain was coming. It was very frightening. It uh, progressively got worse. There was nothing really I could take medicine-wise to take care of it. And it got to the point that I was bedridden. Unable to find the cause of her pain, Carla's local physician referred her to Oshner in New Orleans for a second look. When they couldn't find it, they referred her all the way up to Cleveland Clinic in Ohio. Not knowing, Singing River Health System's Center for Spine and Pelvic Therapy existed right here on the coast in Diaberville. So I got back from Cleveland Clinic. I'm a veteran, so I went back to the VA and I told them what I was diagnosed with. And working with them through TRICARE, we found Gay. And I went to her and I mean, she knew more about pelvic issues than anyone I had ever talked to in this whole course of hospital system after hospital system. She knew what it was about. I think there's a lot of cases that goes undiagnosed because people are just like, oh, it's a lower back pain. But if you don't get control of it, I mean, it can be crippling. The team at the Center for Spine and Pelvic Therapy believe bodily function and movement go hand in hand. If you're not able to move properly, your internal organs probably can't function either, resulting in back and hip pain, or even worse, not being able to empty or control your bowels or bladder. A boat is not held up by the line that attaches it to the pier. It's held up by the water. So if the water level drops, that line becomes challenged and that line will eventually break if the water level drops too far. The same thing happens with our organs. If we don't have adequate pelvic floor support, then pelvic floor recedes over time and the organs begin to drop and then we can have prolapse issues and things that often result in surgery. Just a mysterious issue that your body goes through as you age and what happens is when it happens to you, you start with this unexplainable pain. You know, they test you for everything else, they can't find anything and then you look back and you go, oh my gosh, it's pelvic floor. And it can be caused from anything, it can be caused from working out, from aging, you name it. It can be an injury that occurred in childhood, playing on the, the playground. You know, they fell on a root and the pelvis has shifted a little bit. With small children, we always say, you're okay, you know, you're okay, shake it off, you'll be fine. And they do, and so subconsciously the person sort of zeroes out that pain. That's a normal situation and they don't even notice it, but over time those tissues will, will get more and more tense. Um, injury can occur like you break the tailbone, pelvic floor muscles attached to the tailbone, so that's a great way to, to get a starting point, but no one really puts it together, so over time, incontinence may develop or pain problems may develop, constipation uh, uh, issues may develop because of that. Tremendous impact, childbirth, okay? So many uh, people have some degree of damage, even if they don't have tearing, when they have to push for a long period of time during the labor process, they may be having micro tears occur in that support system. But they know what it is that you need to do to be able to live with that. And they send you home with exercises. If you stay on top of that, you can go back and live the life that you lived before it happened. It's something that may or may not ever clear up, but as long as you can control it without medication and just exercise, it's good not only for you emotionally, but also physically. It has everything to do with trying to get tissues to function the way they were designed. And when you do that, you have great success. And we see great success with our program, and it surprises me that the worst situation someone presents with will almost always have the best outcome. It blows my mind. And the only reason I've been interested in doing this every single day for so many years is because what you can't expect to happen happens every single day.